Dude, it's literally been so long since I've rode this bike, I couldn't remember if it was regular or reverse shift. Wish me luck. It's been a while since I've rode on the street. Holy shit. I'm talking like months. Kind of scared right now. I don't know why, but I still have this bike set up with regular shift. And that's really annoying. Every bike that I have is GP shift. Why, why do I not have GP on this bike? I've been riding only Ovales for like the past, holy shit, I don't even know when the last time I rode a big bike was. I think, I don't even know, it's been months. No mirrors, that's alright though because I don't use my mirrors anyways. <laughs> I always look back, I think mirrors are sketchy. So, uh, yeah, right now I'm riding, if you can't tell, I'm riding my, uh, GSX-R1000 R. No, I still haven't signed anything yet with anyone, but this is the only street bike I have, except for the, uh, XSR700 that, that Nick has. I wanted to do some moto vlogging, so... I'm gonna ride this bad boy to the gym today. Try out my new mic setup. See how it works. It's a lot better than driving. <laughs> I forgot how awesome it is. Woo! Feels good to be riding. I'll tell you what though, attack rear sets are my favorite. But for some reason right now, Whenever I'm shifting down, it's folding the lever on the shift lever and it's pissing me off. I don't know if it's because I got my shoes on and I'm shifting differently than I would with boots. Drop a gear! Oh! <laughs> oh man. Right now I'm going to uh, one of my sponsors, Mid Terra. Uh, it's a CBD company that I use, but they uh, they have a gym inside for all their athletes. Uh, the W Training Facility, they basically partnered up and put one of their gyms up there. So I got to go work out 10, 15 minutes away from my house with uh, Joe, who's my personal trainer, and uh, play some basketball when I'm done, shoot some golf. I got a golf simulator there, so makes it a lot easier to uh, feel motivated to go. So, my whole goal with the uh, this whole mic setup is to start bringing some people out on rides and uh, just talking, have some fun, go riding. It's kind of hard to constantly be talking on this fucking microphone while I'm riding, though. Props to everybody that does that. I got my full gauntlet gloves on. Normally I only run the, uh, like the half glove, but it always bugs the shit out of me because like right here is right where the leather, you know, the glove meets the leathers or the jacket. And it's always bunching up and being super annoying. So I wanted to try the full gauntlet glove today. It's actually way more comfortable to ride in. I don't know how anybody rides in those half shell gloves or the no shell, whatever you want to call them. Hey, don't slow down. It's funny. Uh, something I've noticed, you know, I started riding motorcycle on the street like two or three years ago. And it was because People would come up to me at the races, they'd always ask me like, hey, what do you ride on the street? I'd be like, fuck man, I don't ride on the street, that shit's too dangerous. I was always a big pussy about it. I, I realized one day like, man, I'm trying to get people to buy these bikes. And I'm telling them, oh, don't ride on the street, it's too dangerous. No racers ever ride on the street, we're not that dumb. But not only have I realized 
realized that I was wrong. It's not that dangerous. You just got to pay attention. You can't just be an idiot and fucking ride like you do on the track and not look over your shoulder and wheelie everywhere and somebody cut you off. Yeah, a lot of times it's the people driving. It's their fault, but... I think I've had way more sketchy moments on racetracks and track days than I have riding on the street. Knock on wood. <laughs> but I also realize how much fucking easier it is to get around Southern California. Holy shit. I love my Tacoma, but it's nice just getting out on a motorcycle and riding. You might not see as much stupid shit on my channel if I keep posting these videos as you do on some of the other guys that post moto vlog deals. But, I'm gonna have fun. I'll probably do some cool shit every now and then. I'm just trying not to, not to get hurt or fuck my bike up. I know that. I like my bike a lot. Terror right there. Hello! That's my gym. I wish I could pull up in the gym and just do a burnout. I'd probably eat shit though because it's been so long since I've done one. Oh, come on, dude. We're not sitting here. Let's go. Oh, you want to race? Let's go. Oh, tire squeaking! Oh, shit! I ain't fucking with that guy. Damn it. Fuck you! Is that Richard Stamboli in his Porsche? Probably was. I'm here. Fucking see you later. I'm gonna go fucking get sore now that's fun right there's the old girl numero dos look at that fast bike industry blacked out forks oh boy I haven't put the yeah I did Ugh. best glove this jacket was so tight, so I took out the uh, some of the padding and the elbows. Still pad there, but fix it a little bit. Swole arms that Joe's giving me at the gym, making my jacket too tight. Those things don't look like they'd be very fun. Big ass holes. Nice. Oh god. Ugh. Another big hole. Come on, Irvine. Fix your shit. Ooh, that downshift auto blip is nice. Oh, okay. So many nice cars out here, it's insane. Alright, usually I use my my GPS to get home from the gym. <laughs> Hopefully I don't mess this up. I always accidentally get on the 55 uh, going the wrong direction. Go for it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Just so everybody knows, if I don't have freaking gear on, I'm the last person that's gonna act like a dumbass on the street. I mean, I have my jacket, gloves, helmet, but I hate riding without leathers. the corner. 
corners. I'm totally down with doing wheelies and whatever. But when it comes to fucking getting my knee right hovering up above the ground like you guys do when you're in jeans, fuck that. Hey! Is that, is that Tony Elias? being able to take carpool, I'll tell you that. I haven't been able to take carpool in a while. I'm in my truck by myself all the time. Toyota Escondido, it's one of my sponsors. They're having an event at their dealership and uh, I want to try and get a ride together. Maybe we could all ride and then end up at Toyota Escondido, eat some free food hang out. I think there's going to be a bunch of Supercross guys there. be uh, pretty cool to get some of you guys down there. Maybe we could start start a ride maybe like 2 o'clock. I think it's at 6 o'clock. It's on a Thursday night. We could ride, do like I think Palomar Mountain down there. If you guys are interested in doing that, comment. I'm trying to figure something out. It's February 6th, Thursday. So... Ew. Thanks, bud. Woo. Am I the only person? There's no way I'm the only one that when I ride by somebody on the right side and their window's down, I love just fucking ripping it. Let's see if we can find some open windows. Nope. 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 Right here. <laughs> Look at that tight squeeze. Yeah. All right, I gotta get over here. I remembered. I can't believe it. Get over. Get over. Get over. Get over. Open window. I always accidentally get on that fucking ramp right there. I don't know why. Yeah, see, I'm always afraid when I'm fucking turning on the street, I'm going to hit some fucking slippery shit. That's the only bad part about riding on the street. Ew. You guys ride with the rear brake on the street or the front brake? Because I'm like always very partial. I always end up using the rear brake. Alright, let's see if we can squeeze right here. Excuse me! Hello! I feel like it's safer on the street to use your rear brake. That's just like my gut feeling. I, I feel like whenever I use the front brake, it's super sketchy. Like I'm gonna like grab it on some fucking oil or rocks where I'm going to tuck the front but if I use the rear brake it's like okay the rear slid out a little bit whatever front brake ugh, I'm always scared uh, of course I use it but it seems like I'm using the rear brake more nothing exciting on this rod yeah. Fucking kid. Oh, well, you're not getting over? Alright. I can't help it. When I get on a bike, I never realize how much I fucking act like a little kid when I'm on a bike. Now that I'm like videoing and thinking about it, it's, it's kind of weird. Look at this, auto downshift. Blop, blop. So nice. I used to be like totally against the modern bikes and auto this, auto that, and electronics, but man, when you ride on the street, 
It's actually really nice. Oh, thanks. It's weird to me how some people like totally know like motorcycle etiquette. They'll scoot over, and then see some people just don't give a fuck. It's cool. They must like know somebody that rides or something like that. It's really neat. Should I be like all those other moto vloggers that like try to like talk to people when I'm riding? Ah, oh, so annoying. Sometimes it's funny. Uh oh, it's a green light. People behind me hate me. Should we do a burnout down one of these side streets? I think so. I haven't done one in a while. Smoke. I had to. I had to do it. Should we go back and look at it? Or should I never go back to the scene of the crime? Let's check it out. Oh, look at that thing. That was a nice one. That was a nice one. Alright, I'm going to say bye now. I'm going to say bye now, guys. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Alright, legit. How many of you ever have got stuck in your jacket? <laughs> I just got done with the ride. I didn't have any Under Armour on or anything. And both my arms were legit stuck in my jacket and I couldn't move. I was trying to teach my dog to like grab the end of my jacket and pull on it. I was stuck in it for at least five minutes. That that legit sucked. <laughs> Piston's learning to pull my jacket off from now on. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching guys.